Hi, kindergarten. It's Mrs. O'Donnell, ready to teach you another letter and sound. Today we have the letter Z, and Zelda Zebra is here with me to get us started. Let's do it. Let's learn about Z. To make a capital uppercase Z, you're going to start on the top line. You're going to make a straight line to the right. Then you'll slant down to the bottom and another small line to the right. Watch one more time. Small line, slant down to the bottom, another small line. Let's try this one in the air. Ready? Make a small line to the right, slant down to the bottom, another small line to the right. Let's do it one more time. Small line, slant line, small line. Okay, to make a lowercase z, it looks almost the same as capital Z, but it's just smaller. You'll start in the middle between the top and the bottom line. A small line to the right, slant down to the bottom, another small line to the right. Let's try it in the air. Small line to the right, slant down to the bottom, another small line to the right. Last one. Great. To make the sound for Z, you're going to smile with your tongue behind your teeth and turn on your voice. It kind of makes your lips tickle a little bit when you make that sound. Listen again. That's the sound for Z. When I think about the letter Z sound, I think about a zipper. You can pretend like you're going to zipper up your jacket when you make this sound. It, this motion will help you remember the sound for Z. So Z says Z. One more time. Z says Z. My alpha friend for this week is Zelda Zebra, and we just met her a few minutes ago. A few other things I have that start with the letter Z include zoo, zipper, zucchini, a zucchini is a type of vegetable, zigzag, zigzags are lines that go back and forth, and zero. When you don't have anything, you have zero. If I have zero apples, I don't have any apples. All right, remember Z says Z. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time.